with a statement from Coach. Okay. But where are you from? Me? Which? My name is Linda Ernst. Yeah, I'm from the Herald. From the Herald? Yes. Okay. Student. So you knew? Student. Student, yes. you knew. Where you were you from originally? Originally? Where's your town, hometown? Chattanooga, Tennessee. What high school? Uh, Sigma Mountain. Okay. Got gotcha. you. Okay. You going to be with us every game? I am. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, first off, um, you know, when you play these games, you never know what to expect from your opponent because you know nothing about them. And uh, it's very obvious that uh, they spread that floor and had some guys can make some shots. When your five man can make some three pointers and they spread that court, you know, they can cause you a few problems. Uh, so give them credit. I thought they did a, did a really good job. And he's got a really good team. They had one player, I think, didn't even play tonight. So uh, I know two of those guys were back from last year, but we didn't know much about them. But it's very obvious they were a good team. With us, you know, a lot of details we have to continue to get better at. But overall, I just thought we played hard. That's the key. We just played hard. Um, I didn't have one guy that I didn't feel like didn't play hard. Does that mean he plays great and doesn't make mistakes? No. Uh, we can correct those things. Effort level is something that's hard to, you know, really, really teach consistently. And I thought our guys played hard. Um, you know, we had 30, uh, 30 of our 33 baskets. 18 of them were on assist. That's a big stat. I think four guys are in double figures. Didn't play anybody more than 22 or 23 minutes. Uh, Darius and Wu, I think, led us in rebounding. It's good to see Flu come in and play and get some good quality minutes. Jamar was um, no factor is not the right word, but limited factor. Uh, he wasn't himself. Jamar had been out the last two days, hadn't practiced, had this little virus. I guess everybody's had. And, you know, just hadn't done anything. You know, hadn't much been out of bed. So he wasn't himself at all, energy-wise, from the first, from right off the jump ball. Uh, but we still played him 19 minutes. So we'll get him back, get him some rest, and fuel him up. He'll be ready for the next one. So, you know, I played a lot of people. Um, I think over 40 minutes. Our guys, you know, we can score the ball lots of different ways. Lots of different people can put some pressure on the basketball. I mean, I think over 40 minutes, we can continue to cause some people some issues. We were very vanilla offensively, very vanilla defensively. Um, and that's OK. Um, the biggest thing I looked for tonight, we got. We played hard and had great effort. Question? Um, you, know, you said you can score it a lot of different ways. Uh, you guys shot the ball very well to start the game. How good is it to see that early in the season? And you know, with the guys that you have, how much of that is you know, being able to spread the floor and have those open shots and then just having the guys to knock them down? Uh, there's no question. Luke's going to benefit a whole bunch this year from the floor being spread more, but multiple guys who can drive it. You can see Acock. A guy can put it on the floor and get in the lane and spray that ball different places. Uh, that's another weapon. Um, and Luke's really going to benefit from that. And there's some lineups we could put out there um, different that makes it even a little bit more difficult to defend. So, um, like I said, we can score a lot of different ways. You know, like Acock can get him to post up. That's something that, you know, maybe if we don't post up as much as a five guy, you got other guys can do it. And Davey and Acock, and I don't think we got Davey in, in there any tonight. Um, Jamar is better than there. He's better in that post. You saw him catch one, turn with his left hand, and I just miss. He's been better at finishing those. Uh, stepped to the free throw line tonight. Jamar did in three for five. You know, he spoke too soon at halftime. I think he'd made both up, Maddie, because he had told me that. So, but a lot of things to build on. Question. Um, so what do, you, what do you think about the guys who have a lot of newcomers on the team? What, how is the team chemistry so far? I mean, it's only been one game, but what do you think about it? Yeah, your first name is? Linda. Hey, Linda. Um, 
you know, that's the one thing with our guys that I've said all along. Um, I think we got a great group of young men. Uh, we got guys got really good character. When you have that, I think it's easier to kind of mold people and um, makes that chemistry better. Our chemistry has been great. If you ask the players, I think they'll tell you the same thing. Um, they all get along. Um, and, and, and again, I don't get caught up as much as who starts the game. You know, as I've said all along, six, seven, eight, and nine, and maybe 10. Those are the keys to your team. Those guys may be sacrificing not being a starter or not playing as many minutes as they're capable of, but playing a different role. And that's some guys on our team. You know, again, I probably got uh, three or four other guys that could be starters. Uh, well, I'd feel really good about. I mean, if I'd had them last year, uh, we, they really would have been needed. So, chemistry's been really good, Linda. Yes. Kind of going off of that, um, obviously the starting five, four of them were a group that played together a lot last year, but, you know, subbing those guys in and out of those four guys, five guys at a time, do you see that kind of platooning as something that you'll continue to do throughout the season, or is that just a Exhibition. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure as we go on a little bit. I have confidence in those other five. You know, uh, there'll be maybe certain games, certain situations may dictate that a little bit. Uh, but, um, you know, as long as we can keep that pressure up, and it's going to wear us out a little bit, I know that, which affects you a little bit offensively. But through four, over 40 minutes, you can wear, a, get into a team a little bit now. Um, and it got us tired tonight, too, picking up full court and doing that. But, again, we'll get better at it. And uh, I have a lot of confidence in those other guys coming off the bench. Like I said, do I do that all the time? Uh, I don't know that yet. Uh, but we'll keep playing that way and keep figuring it out. And, like I said, injuries and fouls and different situations may dictate it a little bit. Well, nine points, that, is that six rebounds? Nine and six in 15 minutes, pretty good stats. And we, we just call him our junkyard dog. That's what he is. Um, and this is not a insult to him at all, because we talk to him about this all the time. He doesn't understand how to play yet. So once he figures it out, He's going to be so much better. But while you're figuring it out, do the one thing you do best, go play hard. He's one of our best athletes. Guys love him on this team because he's an effort guy. And like you said, he just made some effort plays right there, and it's what he does. Those are really good stats for, like you say, 15 minutes. You take that over 40 minutes, what would that be, Jared? I haven't done that in a while. That would be 20, 24 points, and it would be um, – 16 rebounds. You need to practice your mental math. I do. I do. Okay. Are you going to play in 40 minutes? <laughs> Who knows? Get those kind of stats, we might. Um, he kind of reminds me a little bit of Josh Anderson in his earlier days. Does he kind of remind you of him at all or in any way? Or is that just um, you know, believe it or not, he's a, um, he's a better shooter. He's a young man, can make a shot. Did he make a three tonight? I believe so. One for two. Yeah. Better shooter. Josh is probably just more of a f fluid athlete. Um, Josh was more of a really a wing type of guy. Tyrone's kind of a four, three while he's learning. But from a rebounding standpoint and going and getting it athletically, um, he can be really good right there now. And like I said, the guys love him. He's one of those guys. He's a great teammate. Um, he can really get out and transition and run. I think it was Rawls threw him at threw him at lob and that dunk. So those are the kind of guys you need coming off your bench. Guys can come in and add to bring toughness, bring energy. He's one of those guys that's going to do that. I guess what's the biggest thing you want to see improved upon uh, you know, going into Saturday and then 
Well, I mean, some of their things happened tonight. It wasn't our team's fault. It's what we'd been doing when we talk about maybe icing the screen, guarding the screen different. Um, well, we'll go back doing guard those screens kind of the way we've guarded them some, and we'll ice certain people. But teams that have five guys can shoot it, uh, you don't want to ice those screens. Uh, uh, ice means that guard turns it down, and that guy pops, you're in trouble. Like I said, the first half, that guy made about three threes on us. Uh, defensively guards the ball screens. Um, you know, we had some bad closeouts and the dribble a little bit, but um, just continue to get better. Again, just play hard. You know, as we continue to play, that mind will slow down a little bit. You'll get a little bit more relaxed and a little bit more comfortable. But as I've said from day one, I got multiple guys can go score at basketball different ways. Like I said, Jamar was no factor in this game tonight, like he has been. Uh, he'll be a different guy Saturday. Linda, give me another one. Last question, we done? All right, Linda. Okay. Um, did, you play did you play basketball? I did it. I did it in middle school, but not in high school. So how do you know how to ask questions? What do you know about basketball to ask questions, yes? Oh, I just watch NBA. So you love basketball? I do. Perfect then. Basketball. Perfect. I guess I just my last question is, what do you think about um, Dante Allen's performance tonight? You know, um, can't can't let his whole game be predicated on just making shots. You know, and I think he's put pressure on his whole, his whole life just making shots, and it's new for him. You know, he's he's coming out tonight for the first time really really playing any kind of minutes in a real game consistently. And you know, I think as we go on, he'll relax. And like I, I try to tell him all the time is, do what you do best. Let's make shots. But let's work on these other things. But don't think making shot is the only thing you got to do to be a good basketball player. Those are things he's got to learn to get better. And he will in time. He will. Jerry, you got anything else? Good? Everybody good? Thank you. Let me ask this question. Thank you. If they got all the information on tomorrow? They do. They're you, running an ad on it. But you if got you it? talk about it tomorrow, you can't. Yes, talk about it. Make sure you get the paper and Jared, you can come and Linda, you'll be there. I already got all the you'll, <laughs> You're going to be there. I will be there. Uh, tomorrow, you know, we're trying, we're trying to get these students back the way it used to be. Mm -hmm. And for a student um, who sometimes don't ever come to games, uh, we just need to get them in this arena, let them see us play, and for students to enjoy an athletic event. So what we're doing tomorrow, we're having all students who want to come to our house. Mio, have I told you that yet? They all coming. Um, I think we're up to we're up to a bunch already. We want you all to come. My players will serve you. Players will serve and. We just want to say thank you, and we need you. So it starts our house tomorrow. We have a radio show at 4 o'clock. Uh, there will be a DJ. It will be free food. So if you guys want to come, you can come. We good? Jared, I know you're a single guy, so come on. <laughs> they good? Yeah. All right.